Okay, what you're about to watch, guys, is a live Periscope that I did where I am talking to a live audience. So I'm going to be editing parts of it, like I'm going to cut out the intro part and all that, where I'm doing the, the welcoming and all that. But I do want you to know, though, that what you're about to get here in this is powerful. It has changed my life. So if you guys get value out of it, please be sure to share this with your social media channels. There should be some buttons for you to click on for you to share it as well as leave a comment. I'd love to know what you thought. So I'm really excited and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys. Thanks for the heart. You want me to dance, don't you? <laughs> So if anybody here knows who Ray Higdon is, Ray Higdon is one of my mentors. He's an amazing, amazing, successful person who literally went from bankruptcy to millions. And he has blogged, you guys, every day for six years. And he gets thousands of leads a month, right? And he's actually, so he's very consistent, right, at what he does. But the key is, is this is the key, you guys. This is the, this is the nugget. Why is he consistently doing that every day? Um, why is he consistent? Why am I consistent? Why are you consistent? Okay? You see, everybody wants to know what's a good daily routine? What is it that's going to make me succeed? Okay? And guys, I have a news flash for you. Here's my news flash, okay? It's not a daily routine that is going to make you successful. Um, and this was something that was really powerful that uh, Ray Higdon shared is he's got a recipe for making millions, okay? He's got an actual to-do list. So guys, let me ask you this. If you had a to-do list of what it would take, if you were given a to-do list of what it would take to become a millionaire, will you follow it? Will you follow it? Okay? And the news flash is most people won't follow it. Why is that? Why is that? Because it's not for lack of desire, right? It's not for having lack of a why. It's because people have a lack of vision, okay? Should have brought my glasses with me to illustrate that even more, okay? So this is the deal, guys. When people hit the ground every morning, all right, the reason why some people are ready to go and do the things that it takes to push them closer to their vision of what they want to become is because they have a vision. Exactly. Tanja said lack of focus too. And you know what? I think it ties into that, uh, Tanja, because people are, are, have a lack of focus because they don't have the vision. I'm going to give you guys some awesome tips. I'm going to give you seven tips on how to be more focused so that you can achieve the life of your dreams, okay? But the first thing I want to share with you, though, is, is it's not just necessarily having a to-do list, okay? It's not just having the desire and it's not just having the why. It's about having the vision, having the vision to be who you want to become, okay? Now, I know there's people on here right now that are watching this that have vision, and they're doing whatever it takes. I know that there's people on here, yes, Tanja says, I couldn't find my vision until I had a combination of passion and purpose. Lisa, you're one of the people I was thinking about whenever I was, whenever I was saying that. I see Lisa on consistently every day, and I feel her passion. I feel her passion. I know, Lisa, that you have a vision and you're succeeding. You're going to be massively successful as well. You're very welcome. But guys, there's, listen, there's like what? How many, how many millions of people are on Periscope right now? 10 million. And only 4% of people are actually broadcasting. Okay. There's a reason for that. I'm going to get to that. But, um, so having a why though, having a why is not enough. Okay. Cause there's people who've had a why, but haven't progressed in two years, right? I have self-doubt too, though. Help us all make sure it doesn't take us out. Absolutely, Lisa. I'm so excited to share this with you. This recipe is coming from a millionaire who was on the brink of uh, bankruptcy. So this is really, really powerful. So yeah, getting to your why. Why is it that having your why is not enough, right? Why is that? Well, think about it, guys. A why is typically external, right? So for me, it's Giving, getting my mom the best medical care that she needs. For you, it might be um, spending more time with your kids, retiring your spouse, being able to travel the world, having a lifestyle that you dreamed of, right? All of those, you guys, are external. But a why, a why 
without a full vision of who you want to become, it doesn't matter, okay? So my question to you is, who do you want to become? This can be the biggest turning point for someone's career or someone's life, okay? So there's four things I want you to ask yourself. Who do you want to be known for? Or how do you want to be known? How do you want to be known? What kind of legacy do you want to leave, okay? What are you creating? How do you want to feel about your life, okay? And as I know a lot of you know who Dr. Wayne Dyer is, right? Wayne Dyer has some amazing quotes. For instance, don't die with a vision inside you. Don't go to your grave with the dream still in your heart. Guys, those are internal quotes. Those are quotes that really make an impact as well, right? So you first have to have a vision of something, having something inside you, okay? And what's sad is that there's so many people that are looking for something external, right? What's the best system? Who's the best mentor? What's, you know, what are the things that are going to help me because I really need it, right? That stuff, you guys, has been out forever. Systems have been out there forever. So why isn't everybody getting rich? Why isn't everybody succeeding, quote unquote, right? Because when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Have you heard that before? But first, you must believe that you have the capacity for that to come out of you, not from, to come out of you from inside, not from outside of you. And for some people, this is a real mind blower, okay? Some people, some people are thinking, they, a lot of people can't grasp that. And that's why I, I, I wanted to make this, do this periscope and make this video because I've heard this when I first got in to, when I first started marketing online, Tan just said there's too many shiny objects. Absolutely, when I first started marketing online, I kept hearing that from all the successful uh, people that were, that, had, that were achieving financial freedom, right? They were saying, guys, it's all inside, it's in your heart, you have to believe, you have to believe. And I'm like, what the heck does that mean? You have to believe it. And that's why I hope that there's something in this Periscope or this video that will at least a nugget that you'll get because this is the mind blower that got me, okay? It's not as much the acquisition as allowing and releasing, okay? So when you are focusing on acquiring a system, a mentor, a thing, it's not going to be worth a hill of beans until you have allowed and released. So if you allow yourself to be freaking great, allow yourself to be freaking amazing, okay? What you need to do is you need to release the chains and the bonds that you have inside you for being special, okay? For being great. So you need to release the idea that because of your past, you can't be great, right? Yeah, Sharon, you need to release the idea that because you don't have X or Y, you don't have Z, that you can't be great, right? You guys don't have to have things in order to be great, okay? So, um, yeah. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Ashley said I needed to hear that today. You know, and I, like I said, having a why is external, and, and I always, I, I never really grasped what people meant by that, right? You know, well, you have to have a strong why. Guys, you do have to have a strong why, but it has to be more than that. You have to have the drive. You have to believe. You have to internally believe, and there's no amount of courses that will help you because courses are external, right? There's people out there, you guys, with degrees. There's people that have multiple degrees that are still struggling because they don't have the belief inside them, right? Don't waste your time on those, okay? You have to first believe in yourself. So, you know, for me, I have a vision for myself, okay? I believe that within me, I can accomplish greatness, and I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to do that, okay? So it's when you do this, though, that you will follow a checklist because it's those people that don't believe in themselves are the ones that are not going to follow a checklist, okay? Because they're out there. How to achieve financial freedom, how to achieve the life of your dreams, it's out there. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to do it, okay? So, um, okay, so let me give you some tips here, okay? Okay, you need to believe that your situation can get better, and that it comes from within you. And when that happens, you guys, that's when the acquisition of knowledge becomes manifestation. Did you get that? When you believe that things can get better and it comes from within you, that's when the acquisition of knowledge becomes manifestation. And when that happens, that's when 
you have the checklist. Yes, checklist, instruction needs action. So if you guys are going off a checklist and you don't have that belief inside you, it's gonna be inconsistent with your vision. Okay guys, this is what you need to do. Here is a great checklist, okay? First of all, you need to start and craft a vision that has, that has you having an amazing life, okay? So here's a great checklist. Number one, you wake up every day and set your mind to intend it to be a great day. Wake up every day and set your mind to intend it to be a great day, okay? If you guys have ever heard the story of Mel Fisher from Indiana, he was a fisherman that spent 16 years, 16 years searching for a sunken hidden treasure. And this, this ship was called the Atosha, okay? So he literally spent 5,480 days looking for this hidden treasure. And he had a lot of tribulations during those 16 years, but every single day, every single day, he would start the day saying, today's the day, okay? And uh, finally, he found the treasure, right? But it took him 16 years to be consistent because he had that vision. He believed he was going to achieve that, okay? So wake up every day and set your mind to intend it to be a good day. Isn't that an amazing story, Lisa? Thank you, Tanja, for, for writing that out. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Number two, this comes from a billionaire, okay? Richard Branson. Does anybody know who Richard Branson is from Virgin Airlines? This, and this is really funny, you guys. I posted this on Facebook, and let me find it. I actually posted this on Facebook. What is the one thing, what is the one thing you can do to be more productive? I had six comments on it, right? Okay, somebody said, stay busy, you know, don't get sidetracked. That was great, you know, and somebody says, in the morning, make a list of everything you like to do that day, start checking them off. That's true. Um, Diane said, get on my, get up on my feet and off my bottom. That's true. Oh, Ashley. Stay off Periscope. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, guys, what you want to do, the second, what, what Richard Branson said is what's the one thing you can do to be more productive? And you know what he said? Exercise. Lisa, did you like that? <laughs> you know, walk around the neighborhood, biking, whatever it takes to exercise. What it does, guys, is exercising, it keeps your body healthier. It improves your blood circulation. It builds your immunity so you don't get sick. So that is the second thing, you guys. The second thing is exercise, right? So number one, wake up every day and set your mind to intend it to be a great day. And number two, coming from a billionaire, right? Exercise every day. That's the one thing that he says you need to do every day to be more productive, okay? Have a total essential task like that. Number three, the number three thing is invest time and possibly money into your education, okay? What does that mean every single day? I know that most of you that are on here agree with this. You know, every single day, always be improving your, improving your mind by, you know, get a book, get a good book, read a book, read blog posts. Uh, make sure that you're following great educators. You know, uh, hello. <laughs> no, but really though, guys, make sure you're following people that are providing you value like this that is helping you. Personal development is where it's at, okay? Constantly need to be doing that every day, every single day. So invest time in your education. The fourth thing you do, guys, is every single day, create a piece of content every day. Remember how I said at the beginning of the scope? that Ray Higdon blogs every single day. He's been doing that for six years, okay? Why does he do it every day? Because he has the vision, he has the belief in himself that he's meant for greatness, right? Every single day, guys, either create a video, do a blog post, make an article, do a Periscope, okay? Right, don't get tangled up doing this, though. Education means learning, not allows institutional. Yes, absolutely. There's people, like I said, that have had multiple degrees that still don't know what to do with their lives, right? Because they don't have that vision. Um, but guys, don't get tangled up in this because uh, what you want to do is you can make it simple. Like I took my Periscope from yesterday and I made a blog post out of it. Then I emailed it to my list. So it was very simple to do. Okay. Um, and here's, here's something that's really funny. Richard Branson spent $25,000 for a coaching session to be told that all he needs to do is create a two to three minute video every day. That was it. How amazing is that? And remember what I said earlier, guys, there's over 10 million people on Periscope, but only 4% are actually broadcasting. 
Guys, we have access to some amazing technology, right? It makes it so easy. How, how do you think that people back in the 1800s would have been able to share content on a daily basis? They weren't. Yes, we are pioneers. We have access to some amazing technology. This is free. I mean, yeah, I pay for my phone and I pay for my internet service, right? But it's a tax deduction, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So, number four, create a piece of content every day, okay? Number five, guys, number five, no matter what business you're in, if you aren't generating leads daily, okay, you need to prospect X number of days. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. I love watching your scopes too, by the way. <laughs> um, but if you're not generating X number of leads every day, you need to be prospecting. Excuse me. If you aren't generating leads every day, you need to be prospecting X number of leads per day. Now, rule of thumb, okay? Now, this is what Ray Higdon said. If you're in an MLM or a network marketing company, you need to be doing at least five presentations. You need to be sharing at least five presentations a week with prospects. If you're not sharing, if at least five people aren't watching a presentation, okay, minimum, then that's probably why you're not having success. And I have to be honest with you, the times that I'm having people see presentations is when I'm getting signups in my business, okay? So, um, yeah. So, always make sure that you're generating leads daily, okay? What are you guys saying? <laughs> oh, all right, guys, um, number six, okay, we're going to seven, okay, but this is number six. Number six, you guys, I know a lot of you are going to agree with me here, focus your intention on tomorrow before you go to bed. Who agrees with me? Focus your intention on tomorrow before you go to bed. Scientists, you guys, still have no idea exactly how their brain works, right? But guess what? The supercomputer, you guys all have access to a supercomputer, and guess where it is? You know where it is, right? It's right between your ears. So let me ask you this, why is it that we are programming our own personal supercomputer every night with negative stuff, right? Murders, rapes, storms, deaths, you know, by watching the news before we go to bed. Instead, you wanna focus on setting your intention for tomorrow before you go to bed that you know you're gonna have a positive day tomorrow. Yes, that is exactly right. You cannot control what happened yesterday or the day before. So set the intention that you are gonna have a great day tomorrow. And remember what I said was number one, set the intention that you are going to have a great day no matter what. It's amazing what it does to your mindset. So, okay guys, and then number seven, number seven, the final one, what do you think it is? It's R&R. &R. It's, not, it's not rest and relaxation, it's rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, okay? Rinse and repeat. So you take the, those seven steps, you guys. So it's number seven is repeat. You just repeat what I just told you, okay? You repeat that on a daily basis, you are going to, you're going to manifest your dreams, okay? So I just showed you guys how to live the life of your dreams, okay? But this is the thing, you guys. Do you guys believe this? Do you believe this? Lisa, I know you do. <laughs> I appreciate that. Lisa says, I wrote these rock star tips down. Yeah, they are. I'm going to make this into a blog post too, by the way. Great content. Share this on a scope yourself. You know, this is great content. You have to believe in yourself, you guys. And the thing, though, is that most people won't because there's a lot of people that are like get rich quick seekers, right? This, guys, isn't for those people. These tips are not for people that are looking to get rich quick because. This is for people that are serious about getting their act together. These are for people that are serious about changing their lives, okay? I don't care about getting rich quick. I care about changing my life. And that is where I have found my vision, my passion, is to share with others that they can achieve greatness within themselves. And it's taken me a long time to learn that, that that has been my passion. Guys, I have been learning all this technical stuff, how to do blogs how to do all this technical stuff, right? And I thought that by sharing that with everybody, all these technical things, that you're gonna learn how to do whatever it is that you wanna achieve in life, right? But guys, none of that is worth a hill of beans if you don't believe in yourself. There is something that is so frustrating to bring people into your business. Now, 
Lisa, I know you're involved in a network marketing company. I'm not sure about everybody else, but for those of you that have a team that you're building, it, isn't that frustrating to see people that join and they don't do anything? Isn't it frustrating? You know why that is? It's because they don't believe in themselves. There's so many people that think that they don't have what it takes. And that's where I want to help others is I want everybody to know that you can absolutely achieve the life of your dreams, but you have to believe in yourself. And if you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what business you're in. You can make your, you can achieve greatness no matter what. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that, Lisa. Yes, anyone can learn a skill, but you can't teach someone to believe. No, no. So, you know, I love, I love that um, you absolutely can work on your mindset on a daily basis, you guys. Wake up with the intention and always feed your mind with positive stuff. Don't watch the news, especially right before you go to bed, right? So wake up every day with the intention. Exercise. Exercise every day. Have a smoothie every day. That's what I do. I do that as well, Lisa. I know you do as well. Create a piece of content every day, guys, whether it's Periscope, blogging, um, you know, writing an article. And, uh, and then also remember that you need to be prospecting if you guys aren't generating leads. If you don't have a blog or if you don't have a, a lead generation system, you need to be at least prospecting so many people a day okay, or a week, okay? And uh, then focus your intention on tomorrow before you go to bed. And just repeat, you guys, if you do that on a, on a daily basis, you are going to believe, you're going to start to believe in yourself, okay? And that's why I said a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't believe that because if you guys go to some of those Facebook groups and you see people are posting all that spammy crap on there, and if you've, have you ever, like, tried to make connections with them and you just don't feel the connection? Because all they care about is making money. They don't care about believe about vision about believing in themselves that's one of the things i love about the network marketing industry you know it's all about you believing in yourself before you can even start to have success absolutely well guys i'm so glad you guys participated thank you so much for the hearts i am so grateful for you i'm so grateful for you jumping on and i'm so grateful for you inviting uh your followers and i just it just means everything to me and I hope that you guys are all, are all going to be going after your dreams. You are meant for greatness. I've been saying that forever. My first grade teacher, Mrs. Brown, told me that, that I was meant for greatness as well. And I've always believed that. And I always believed that, that there's something inside me. I just didn't know how to tap into that. Guys, I just gave you some tips on how to tap into your greatness. So I hope you got some value out of that. So with that said, guys, if you want to learn more about me, you can go to my blog, onlinewithmichelle.com. And yes, Lisa, Seeds of Greatness, you're very welcome, Tangent. Thank you so much for jumping on, and I will chat with you guys later, okay? Have a good one.